Welcome back to my channel. For those that have followed the uh, previous series, it was about the carport. Now it pays off. I finished that last Saturday. We are now on Saturday, November the 17th. And we've got plenty of snow. We've got that snow yesterday. Now it's a little bit above freezing point. I'm going to uh, catch up on the late work I had to do this fall. But at least I've got the car covered. Um, I go make a quick tour of the uh, carport with you. Uh, as planned, it does uh, avoid the snow to go under. There's a little bit going under, but most of it doesn't go there. As I said previously, there's no winds here. So it just falls straight, except for yesterday that was a little bit fluffy snow. I'm going to do random stuff this weekend. Put the snow blow and snow blower on the tractor, I'll show you that. And you understand why I have it to be covered. I'm going to empty the garage from the construction material that I've got there. And I'm going to uh, have a great job on the Q50 because the hair brakes were already pretty much worn last spring. Now they are overdue. So I'm going to do a great job, put the new carpets in, the weather tech carpets, put snow blower, snow plow on the tractor, and have some electrical work on the tractor to do so. Uh, a bit of a tune up on the uh, electrical side. And as you can see, there's almost uh, eight inches on the top of the roof. So that's the reason why I, I wanted to have the uh, carport to put the tractor in. That's a lot of snow. It's more like 12 inches, I would guess. So, oh yeah. Okay, I don't expect it to start very easily because there's a electrical issue. Cylinder number three has a frequent misfire. It could be only the uh, the rotor or the cap, or I might say the cap first because uh, the point will affect all four cylinders. Could be also the cable. I don't see any leaks or any spark on the side. But anyways, you let it run for a minute and this spark plug number three is still cold and it's, uh, it smells gas. I'm still running the tractor on the uh, summer gasoline I had uh, earlier this fall or late this summer. It's uh, old gasoline. There's new gasoline coming up in the uh, gas station, especially for winter. The difference is the, um, how the gasoline evaporates in lower temperature. So you might have noticed when you have some gasoline being bought in winter and when you keep that gasoline in, in spring and then after that in summer, then your can is inflating incredibly. So this is why if you have that issue, and I know I've been through that, then it's the winter gasoline designed to run on winter with high volatility and if you have that at higher temperature, like in spring or summer, then you will get an issue with that can and plating. On a tractor, it doesn't make any difference because you have carburetor, you have float, and you have a vent at the top. But on two cycle engines, most of the time, your screw, your cap, your cap will be tight. So if you have gas inflating into your gas tank, it will just overflow into the carburetor and flood the engine. So that's why it's really important to have summer gasoline run into two cycle engine in summertime. The problem with the uh, summer gasoline on that engine, it's, it will not ignite as easily. At just above freezing point, it should be fine. But let's see, uh, 
at below zero Fahrenheit, it won't stop for sure. So let's see what it does. some help from Emily later to stack the wood under the uh, carport so that I don't have to exhale the wood in two feet of snow. I'm also going to uh, change the fork and the hair blade for the snow plow and the snow blower but just before that while I get some sun I'm going to clean the area out there so I can move in and out with the small bolens and the trailer loaded of wood to stack just there behind me there's other stacks of wood back behind i show you that so here is where the balance is hiding and also the trailer and the stacks of wood so it makes a good wall to protect from snow I am to uh, get access to bad snow in late winter so I might have the uh, stack for the whole winter as much as possible
volume doesn't want to start and I did notice this battery even if it is not old seems to be a little bit weak I'm going to boost it with that small battery which is for the splitter it sits inside since then so basically what I get Thank you, Emily, for helping me today. You're welcome with your weird accent. Thank you. You're I know welcome. that. Bye, Dad. And guys.
Okay, that's it for this weekend. Dark is coming. Uh, we've got some more woods stacked under the uh, carport. And at last, I've got the case with the snow plow and the snow blower on it back into the garage where it belongs in the warmth. So, see you next time. Thanks.